Welcome to the devotional moment from St. Matthew Lutheran Church and Early Childhood Center in Hawthorne Woods, Illinois. I'm Pastor Ed Blonsky. Thanks for joining me today. On the screens behind me are the various social media platforms that I use. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Parler, and MeWe. Also up there is the homepage of St. Matthew Lutheran, where I currently serve as Associate Pastor. Social media has been in somewhat of the forefront of the news lately, especially as it pertains to the transition of one presidential administration to another. I certainly wouldn't blame you if you were to voice your displeasure of social media, especially in the last few months. Twitter, Facebook, and all the rest have been used by some to spew hate, to create disunity, and to voice one's own opinions while dismissing the opinions of others. But I want to make the case to you today of another use of social media. These are our portals to the world. I can reach all across the planet through these windows, and that's a pretty powerful tool, don't you think? In fact, what the printing, printing press was to Martin Luther, Twitter and Facebook can be for you and me. What radio was for Walter A. Meyer, social media can be for you and me. We can reach the world through social media with our message, and that makes our choice of message pretty important, wouldn't you say? I use these social media platforms to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with the world. In addition to my bi-weekly preaching at St. Matthew, I also share a weekly devotion and twice weekly reading of scripture and leading in prayer. Pastor Kinney here at St. Matthew does the same. We both have been called to serve as pastors here at St. Matthew. But through social media and the internet, we can also reach well beyond the borders of our community of Hawthorne Woods. Not unlike the prophet Jonah, who lived about 800 years before the birth of Christ. Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and call out against it, for their evil has come up before me. Jonah, a man of God, was called by God to go beyond the borders of his land to proclaim the word of the Lord to the people of a city who were either doing very evil things or enduring the evil of others in their city. In a similar way, many of us Christians are called by God to go to a people whose evil is just as great as the people of Nineveh. You've seen the news headlines about riots and violent protests in the cities of the United States, including the capital of our country. You have heard of those, voice, of those whose voices have been shut down because others don't like what they hear. You know that there is a great evil in our land, the killing of the unborn, the injustice against the innocent, and the lack of justice for the guilty. And like Jonah, many Christians are turning away from it all, shutting off their social media, turning off the news, and even going so far as to join Jonah in fleeing in the opposite direction of where God is calling all of us to go. Perhaps it's not too late for us to change our course and head back to where God is calling all of us to go and say what God is calling all of us to say. Certainly we can pray as Jonah did. I call out to the Lord out of my distress and he answered me. You and I are called by God to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ to our land, starting with our families and neighbors, but also to our communities, states, and nations. And the Lord has given us an efficient tool to do this, social media. It isn't the only way to share the gospel, but it is a way that many, many of us have access to. Let us find as many ways as we can to reach as many people as we can with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let us tell them that even in these dark times of violence, despair, and so much uncertainty, there is a bright and shining truth. Jesus Christ lived for us perfectly, died to forgive our sins, and rose from the dead to give us new and abundant life. If you would like to know more about proclaiming the gospel of Jesus, or to hear more of the gospel of Jesus yourself, just look me up on social media. I'll be right here. Let me pray with you. Heavenly Father, I pray for the person listening and watching right now that they will be encouraged by the call of God to reach out to a dark and dying world with the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And if the person that I'm praying for right now doesn't know Jesus, I pray that you will also use this means to bring them to faith, saving faith, to know that good and great relationship that you want to have with them. And I pray this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thanks for joining me for today's devotional moment on social media. Please share this 
on your social media if this is where you're watching it. Share it with as many people as you can so they can hear this good news of Jesus Christ that I want to share with you and want to share with more and more people. And I pray that God will richly bless you today and all this week. Join us again next time for another devotional moment from St. Matthew Lutheran in Hawthorne Woods, Illinois.